Uh, corny, <laughs> lame, boo, tomato, 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 I'm throwing tomatoes. That's a viral video of a woman which has been reposted countless times online in response to various conversations and exchanges. Now, if you happen to be a white person who posts that in response to a conversation that you're having, are you using digital blackface? That is the question based on a new CNN article <laughs> that says yes. It does in fact count as digital blackface. So basically the, the whole idea is using GIFs or GIFs depending on how you wanna pronounce it. Or videos featuring people of color as someone who is not part of that community. And I guess that is bad now. I don't really know what else to like tell you about it because it's not a thing. It's not a okay, thing. Okay, it's CNN just in my opinion looking for clicks but doing so in a way that creates more hostility and tensions in the country when it comes to race related issues. That is what I see happening, honestly. Yeah, so look, I wanna pick up on your CNN point. Because uh, it, Noam Chomsky talks about this all the time. It's all in the story selections and how you frame things, right? So this particular guy happened to have this theory. And look, I get with the, where the theory comes from. And he's like, he's like, it's a digital version of a minstrel show. It's like a unique, interesting- But is it? Hold on, no, I don't, I don't think so, but that's, but I'm saying I understand where it's coming from. If it's like a professor having an intellectual argument in the faculty staff room or he writes a paper about it, God bless, it's a free country, right? But CNN looks at that absurd thing and goes, "Oh, let me print that. I bet it gets a lot of clicks and I bet it gets people angry at one another, right? And identity politics, culture wars, perfect. That way we don't have to talk about how Cigna is denying your healthcare coverage. Mm -hmm. That way we don't have Using to Using automated to systems. Right, we don't have to talk to you about solutions for the shooting that just happened in Nashville because we know nothing's ever gonna be done. We're not gonna talk about anything in substance. We're just gonna get you guys to fight, okay? So they invent this thing called black digital, uh, I mean, uh, digital blackface, right? Yeah. Okay, you, you know, like okay, I'll give you an example. You remember the Michael Jordan crying meme? Everybody's seen it online, I think everybody's seen it. They say if a black person sends that meme, it's okay, this, the argument goes. But if a white or non-black person sends it, then you're doing blackface. Yeah, no one believes that, no one, okay? Uh, so first of all, if you, I think every person in the country has sent some meme or gift. I might be the only one just because I'm a boomer that hasn't, right? I just don't have time, like I don't have time for memes or gifts. Like I, I gotta go. Like yeah. I gotta, yeah. So apparently we're the only two that have not done this, I know, right? but like, but also if someone does, like I remember there was a period of time when John Iderola, like mm -hmm. was gifting away on Twitter. Yeah. So. If you accidentally sent one of a black person, you're apparently a racist. Did black people ask for this? Like, that's what I want to know. No, they didn't. They didn't. They, they exactly. Didn't. So, like, what is CNN doing? What is CNN doing? Yeah. Look, those uh, research papers that academics do and those conversations that the academics have in their faculty lounges, they should stay there. They should stay. They belong there. They should stay there. The problem is when those ideas and those theories and all these ridiculous, like, you know, the ridiculous things they ponder about as they're like chilling in the faculty lounge ends up permeating, like it ends up leaking into popular culture to the point where people are afraid to have conversations with each other. And again, here we go again, two different issues here. One is it ruins the national dialogue. We get scared to talk to one another and we go into our separate corners. It's awful for the country, right? Secondarily, politically, it's a disaster for the left. So if people think that the left is pushing this, Oh my God, because every white person in the country has done this. So they're gonna be like, wait, now all of a sudden I'm a racist because I sent a Michael Jordan meme or a Tyra Banks meme? Mm -hmm. Wait, and am I only supposed to send white people memes? Isn't that also weirdly racist? If I refuse to send any memes with black people in it? Okay, like, are we all supposed to? Meme and GIF based on our own race and only our own race. Can we just this live? This is mental, okay? But the good news is on this one, it's not actually from the left. Like you can tell because the extreme left has been really pissed at us for a couple of transgressions, right? But on this one, there. I haven't seen anybody take ownership of it. They're like, no, no, not us, not us. In okay, fact, this is really dumb. When CNN tweeted this article out over the weekend, it got ratioed and it got ratioed hard. And I gotta be honest, it was nice to see that. Yeah. Right? And so, ironically, though, this story might bring us a little bit together because both the right wing and the left wing think it's absurd. And yes, guys, you're finally getting it. 
It's the media that's trying to drive division so you are fighting each other and you don't look up. The powerful people are up top setting the rules that are screwing us all. So let's get to some of the comments that were used in the context of the CNN article because a brand designer by the name of Elizabeth Halford is just racked with guilt over using digital blackface. Oh, okay. oh for no, God's no. sake. The, but the quotes are amazing. Halford wrote an apologetic essay in 2020 about how she made a meme out of Wilkins. Uh, Ain't nobody got time for that catchphrase and sent someone a gif of the singer Beyonce repeating, I'm not bossy, I'm the boss. How is that bad? I mean, isn't that <laughs> celebrating Beyonce? Yeah, it's definitely <laughs> celebrating her. So she says this, I've engaged in digital blackface. <laughs> I've laughed at people of color on the news facing horrifying crime and disaster and loss. Okay, so let's pause there. Yeah, that is bad. Why would you laugh at people who are experiencing no, that? No, she's talking about that. I ain't got, uh, ain't nobody got time for that lady. Okay. Yeah. But she's the but one you're who not said laughing, it. But you're, you're not, not laughing, laughing at, at her. her. Yeah. Anyway, okay, but let me continue. Uh, I've appropriated black trauma as punchlines and peeled their faces off to put on my own. There's something wrong with you, lady. And say what I can't say to make you laugh or just because it went viral. I guess we find it funny the way black people tell their story with so much flair. But at the end of the day, one woman's apartment building burned down while she was in bed. But she didn't. But come you're not making a comment about the tragedy that she's experiencing. No, I no, just, it's, look, man, there's now, look, thank God that no one on the left is really picking this up, okay? This is a tiny, tiny, tiny sliver of people, maybe a dozen people overall in the whole country, right? But this whole idea of I rip black people's faces off and put it on my, what are you, what are you in, Silence of the Lambs? Okay, it's just a gift, dude. And by the way, if you're among those 12 and you wanna hate on me, are you sure you didn't send one of my gifts? A gift of me, they're also all over the internet. Brown face, digital brown face. Well, uh, Edwin makes a good point. Maybe CNN got jealous that Fox News really took the lead on the green M&M. And they're like, we need a culture war of our own that's equally as ridiculous. Maybe, so. yeah. <laughs> if you notice, Fox News, CNN, and MSNBC love to fight over the culture wars that they both gin up, mm -hmm. right? But they never fight over economic issues. So don't fall into this trap and thank you the left wing for not falling into it because this is total uh, nonsense. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, so really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.